Let's bring in former federal prosecutor David Morea for more now on this New York City investigation and other investigations surrounding the former president. David, thanks for being on. You know, ABC News has learned that this expected guilty plea from Weisselberg is part of a plea agreement. So how big of a win do you think this is for prosecutors and what does this do for Weisselberg himself? Well, I mean, we haven't seen the plea agreement yet, but it's pretty standard for a white collar prosecution. The indictment was very detailed, makes clear that they have substantial amounts of evidence uh, with the specific charges they have. So, I mean, it's a win to get a plea deal like this, to get uh, one of the defendants to come in and, and, you know, cooperate to some extent. It's unclear what level that is of cooperation. Um, now, to have a five-month sentence, which is what's been reported was part of the plea deal, seems light uh, if he's not fully cooperating up to the extent of, of you know, potentially providing testimony against former President Trump. Uh, but it, it gets them a conviction. He becomes a convicted felon, and they will get his testimony uh, against the organization in the upcoming trial. Now, we know New York State is running a parallel civil investigation into former President Trump's business practices. He pleaded the fifth in a deposition in that case last week. So what do you think is at stake for him in that investigation? And could this guilty plea affect that case? It doesn't seem as though that would affect that case in terms of anything against President Trump personally. Uh, it's been made clear that Weissel, Weisselberg isn't going to testify against Trump personally and only against the organization. Uh, in terms of whether there's overlap between this criminal case and the civil case, that's that's to be determined. Uh, typically, the plea agreement, and we'll probably learn more after the hearing today, would set forth what the parameters are uh, that Weisselberg will have to fulfill. And if he doesn't do that, then you know it, it could change the uh, agreed upon or proposed sentence. Now, white collar cases often involve people who are very wealthy, but they're not usually former presidents with the kind of name recognition that Trump has. So how do you think that's impacting this case, if at all? Well, I mean, all the cases are treated somewhat differently. You look at the, the, this side of it, uh, but more so look down in Florida. Th these things don't usually come up. A search warrant is routine as part of a criminal investigation. Uh, the affidavits are almost never made public prior to being charged. Uh, and here we are having a court hearing on it, which most likely wouldn't happen in any other case. Now, uh, in that case, you mentioned this hearing's happening today. I know that you used to be uh, a former federal prosecutor yourself. So how do you think federal prosecutors in that Florida case have been handling the investigation? And what are you looking out for as we learn more about it? I mean, in, th in terms of the search warrant, it, it seems to have been done by the book, other than the fact that it was of a former president. That's the aberration here. Uh, in terms of when they did it, how they executed it, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything problematic. Uh, the complaints that came out about taking passports, well, those were returned. Things like that happened during a search warrant. Uh, as to the case in general, everything's to be determined. Without knowing what's in the affidavit, we don't know what their evidence is, what their probable cause was for the search. Uh, it's very preliminary. Uh, and that's why a lot of the, uh, the, the, the you know, outrage uh, is a little premature, uh, other than the fact, as I said, that it's a former president. Once we learn more about what evidence they have, what their theories are, and whether they're going to charge him, that's when a lot of these issues will be uh, more ripe. All right. David Maria, we appreciate the analysis. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.